Hey, I'm Alan Brito, I'm an architect, and I try to use as much as possible open source solutions for all of my projects, workflows, uh, lessons, uh, workshops, and Blender is a big part of this solution because you can do almost anything in Blender, even 2D drafting. Yes, I know it's crazy, but you can do 2D drafting in Blender with a few caveats. Uh, you have to make a few adaptations or a few changes for missing options or commands. For instance, a really popular option that you will find in many different softwares regarding 2D drafting is an extend command that will apply into lines and here in Blender you will apply you will apply into edges. Let me show you uh, what I mean by making two quick comparisons with AutoCAD and Rhinoceros. And here I am in AutoCAD. AutoCAD has an extend command which is quite straightforward. It's a basic command from AutoCAD. Let's create an example here that I will replicate later in Blender with a few additionals. For instance, let's say I have this uh, these uh, lines here and I just need to extend these lines until it reaches this point. Uh, in AutoCAD, you just have to type extend or EX uh, as a short for this command, press enter. And if you type and if you click here on this line, it will extend the line until it reaches this boundary here. Really, really simple. Let's see how it works in Rhino. Here in uh, Rhino, we can start a similar drawing. Let me create here something that looks like what we had in AutoCAD. Press enter and you can start typing the same command, extend. You will see it here under this massive list of options, select extend. And as you can see, it will ask us to select the boundary. So the boundary will be this one here. You will press enter to confirm. And now it will ask me to select the curve or line to extend. If I click here, it will extend the line. Great. Now that you know what I mean, let's go back to Blender. And here in Blender, to replicate that exact same option as a 2D drafting environment, I will set my view to the top. Let me erase everything here that we won't need, and I will create a similar shape with edges. If I press Shift A, I'll be using this option here called Mesh Single Vert Add Single Vert. This is a free add-on that will give you a way to add single vertices if you are not using this option. Let me show you where it is. It's this add-on here called Extra Mesh Objects. It's a free add-on. You can uh, install it from the Blender official extensions repository. Now, if I start an object here, we're using the single vert. You can extrude it in the Y axis, then extrude it again on the X axis, extrude Y, and then extrude it right here. Now we have a problem. How can I use or how can I replicate that extend command? I don't want to mess with the angle. I don't want to measure the angle. I don't know what is the angle. I just need to extend this edge here until it crosses this other edge to create a shape. You can use this in many different uh, scenarios, for instance, 3D printing or even uh, drafting for architecture in case you are creating a specific shape. Now, one of the solutions here is to use a scale. If you select this edge and press the S key, you will be able to scale this edge. It will reach that point, but you will also deform this edge here, which is something that we don't want. To solve this, we'll be using the 3D cursor, which is unique to Blender. If you select this vertex, press Shift S, cursor to selected, and if you change your pivot point to use the 3D cursor up here, you will be able to select your edge, press the S key and it will extend the line, but we won't be able 
to mark this point here unless you enable the split edges let me show you where it, where it is i already created a past tutorial explaining how this works uh, if you open here your sidebar from the 3d viewport if you go into the two you will be able to enable here the auto merge and the split edges when you do this uh, out, uh, blender will split or it will segment any intersections between edges let me show you the difference now if i apply a scale you will see that blender just created this intersection here you can select this vertex press x and delete this option and that's it you don't need any more the auto merge and the split edges and you just extended this line let's add an, a level of difficulty or uh, something more uh, specific to precise 3d modeling let me press ctrl z here let's imagine that you have this edge here and you need to extend it with a specific length for instance let's say uh, let me show here the edge length this edge here it's using exactly two meters 2.84 let's say uh, uh, let's imagine that i need to extend this edge by half a meter 0 0.5 meters what is the solution you can't really just use a scale of course you can uh, apply a scale with a specific scale factor but in this case i strongly advise you to use something like pdt let me show you how pdt can help us in this regard now before we start using pdt let me do a few things first or set up a few things first uh, here on uh, pdt design operations you have to uh, change your working plane to top because this is the uh, view that we are using and uh, the logic here will be to measure the distance between these two points and uh, i'll be uh, capturing the angle i will ask pdt to measure the angle that this line or this edge is making with the x axis to do this i'll be using this option here called set a d 2 d which is set angle and delta in a 2d environment i will select two vertices and a pdt will add this information right here under distance and angle let me show you how it works now if you don't remember uh, in blender whenever you have something that you need to select and set an origin object or the origin object will be always the last one selected so in this case i will select this vertex here first let me just mark it here it will be the first one and this will be the second vertex selected if i press and hold the shift key i can select this one and if i press this button now the set ad 2d look what just happened here with the distance and the angle pdt just found that this vertex or this edge has exactly 2.8393 and the angle is 13.83605 this is really important because now we can change the distance with no updates in the angle for instance we need to move this half a meter i will select this vertex here and right here under distance i will change this to 0 0.5 0 0.5 meters uh, do not make any changes to the angle because we want to keep this exact same direction and under select operation i will change here to move entities now if i press this button here direction you will see that this vertex here just move it half a meter if i measure it again using the set ad 2d let me reselect them set ad 2d you will see that it just added a half a meter to the distance that we had originally 
So this is just a quick tutorial explaining how you can manage extend uh, the extend command or an option to extend edges in a 2D CAD uh, drafting environment in Blender. And this is it. You now know how to start using Blender as a 2D drafting tool for all of your projects at least in regard uh, to the extend command you know how to replace it if you want to keep learning about precise 3d modeling blender i uh, let me share here i will leave a link in the description uh, with my workshop where i explain step by step how to use blender for uh, precise 3d modeling and i will also leave links with some of my latest books about how to use blender and uh for architecture, engineering, and uh, 3D modeling, links in the description. It will support my work here in Blender 3D Architect. And of course, there is something that you can also do to support my work here, which is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future tutorials. See you next time. Bye.